Hello, chicks and dudes. What is cool? What is fly? It's 2001. We just got the newest Pokemon game over from Japan, Pokemon Crystal, and I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to see what this is all about. Except it's not really Pokemon Crystal. This is a little different. So this is our first, no, this isn't our first time playing a Pokemon fan game on the channel. We did uh, Pokemon Emerald Rogue and we did uh, Poke Rogue, both of which were roguelike Pokemon mods. This one, however, is open world Pokemon, is what uh, Pokemon Crystal Clear is. Specifically, it's Pokemon Crystal open world, obviously. By Shock Slayer, just in case you didn't catch that. And it sounds like it even has custom intro music. With a little swine of mascot. Uh, I did, I, I made a file just to make sure that the saving worked, because that's always kind of a problem with the uh, Game Boy games we've had. So let me just go ahead, there's, I, I guess there's New Game Plus, and there's built-in Nuzlocke mode. But I'm just gonna do normal. And, uh... As one would expect for Open World Crystal, you can start in any city in any region. Well, either region. There's two regions. So I'm thinking... Well, obviously we have to start in Kanto, because that's something that we can't do in, in Vanilla Crystal. I'm thinking we start in Saffron, that we're, we're, we're a city slicker. A lot of people probably live in Saffron. Or Celadon. Celadon is also a... You know what? Celadon. We'll start in Celadon. It's probably... I, it seems like it would be an easy place to start. But it's ranked three stars, so what do I know? We have a character... We have a, a character creator. Left and right to scroll through tabs. Daring. Oh, where did you start, Jack? You mentioned that you played a little bit of this. In fact, I'm mostly playing this because of your con your insistence. Uh, model. Okay, left and right to change. What is the... what's what's the blue? Okay, that's just... that's what's selected. And that also doesn't affect, like, the actual, uh... That's not choosing the sprite. I guess that's gonna be, like, pronouns. So what are our... what are our, uh, what are our choices? We have red, we have green from the, uh, from the manga, Adventures. Except she's... in the original, she's blue and this is green. We have yellow from Pokemon Adventures. Uh, silver. Lena. I don't know. Lena. I don't know who that is. We can be a Team Rocket grunt. We can be... Chris? Okay. I, I didn't think that was his name. Uh, this is Chris. This is the Pokemon Crystal character. Which I'm kind of leaning towards her because we didn't play Crystal. We played uh, Gold and Silver. So I kind of want to... Uh, I'm going I'm to be a little boring. I'm going to play the Crystal character. The, the canonical Crystal female character that we did not get to see when we streamed. Presets? Oh, okay. Is this just... I guess it's the colors of them? Oh, we get... like, green is green, and blue is blue. Okay, that's neat. We get to pick their, uh, their color palettes, I see. This will be kind of a long intro. I, I like, mashed through it to, to test, and it is, uh... It's pretty substantial. Okay. Uh, I'm done. Start. B. Uh, colors are fine. I'm not going to worry too much about that.
you use this model. Again, gonna be boring, just gonna use my name. I don't usually name Pokemon characters. I guess we'd have to, like, come up with something beforehand. Yet, I'm able to come up with, like, a link on the spot every time. Oh, we can pick our bag color and type? I kind of like monotone, but it also looks pretty boring. I suppose there's a black, is there? Bag type? This is an unnecessary amount of detail. It's a Mogus. Actually, no, it's, it's more like Samus. Sure, I'll use a, a Samus Iran bag. Aaron. Samus Aaron. Select the default Pokegear color. Uh, okay. Uh, also red. Select a starter. Here we go. So, I assume we have the Kanto and Johto starters. I wonder if we have anything else available. Okay, we have Pikachu. We have Eevee. Now, Pikachu was a starter. Eevee was the yellow rival starter. We also have, I guess, fan favorites. Psyduck, Slowpoke. Someone must have wanted Seal and Growlithe. Ooh, Houndour. I like Dark Type. It's terrible in Gen 2 Vanilla. It's an awful type. But uh, maybe this fixes it. Okay, we get all the baby Pokemon. We get Smeargle. We get Ditto. We get Unknown. Okay, they're they're ranked. Th these are the hard starters. And Shuckle, which does not even evolve. Unknown seems like it would be the hardest of these. Unknown or Ditto. Smeargle could be fun, and I do love Smeargle, but uh, I kind of want to... Uh, I think I want to go Houndour. I want to see if I can make an actual dark team in this version. Houndour is also one of the actually... It's probably the only good dark type in Gen 2 off the top of my head. Other than, like, Tyranitar, but, uh... Since Dark is a special type... And Houndoom is, like, the only Dark type to actually have a special attack stat. What time is it? Adventure time? It is 4 o'clock. It is 4.40 o'clock. Shadow, yeah. It is Monday today. Who's this cool guy? Hey there, guys, it's your old pal Shock Slayer, the one and only. And today I'm gonna tell you about Crystal Clear. Now, I'm told this is long. In fact, this, uh, this hack has, uh, this hack has retro achievements. And one of them is for reading this entire introduction. But this is probably important, so I should probably pay attention to it. The world has opened up. Things have been changed to allow for navigation around the area. New services and pathways have been added. The game scales with badges. This means that as you progress, trainers will be stronger and more things will be available. Gyms can also be rechallenged at any unlocked level by talking to the Pokeball statue. Please note that certain trainers related to story events will not scale, such as the Sages in Sprout Tower or the Kimono Girls. I did know that. I know the gym, the gym trainers, the gym leaders scale, so they have a team for every level, every badge count you might have. Dex Tracker, which can be enabled to allow chaining a method for hunting competitive or shiny Pokemon. That's... I think that was a Gen 7 mechanic? Combined with the new Quick Continue feature, this will allow you to reset for a shiny much faster. Not, not gonna worry about that. A 
8,000 shiny odds, the OG shiny odds. Events like releasing Entei and the dogs will show if they're shiny or not. Imagine having to reset until you get all three of them shiny. With the exception of the Elite Four, all of our new stuff will be optional. Okay, so there's little developer stuff sprinkled around the game. All 251 Pokémon are available to obtain in some way. Good. I would hope that of, like, every Pokémon fan game. Pokedex has been reworked and contains more information than ever. Counter data and info on legendary Pokemon and side quests can be found there. Who are all these people? Just show are you just showing off your sprites? This is weirdly compatible with Pokemon Stadium 2. So you can There's a way to put this on a cartridge, a Game Boy cartridge. I think, unless it's talking about, you know, the emulated Pokemon Stadium 2. Probably both. Okay, so like, gift Pokemon are reset? By beating the Elite Four? I missed something in there, but I don't know how long I'll be playing this, so I don't know how important this is all gonna be. have Pokemon walk around with you. And they'll like you more. I wonder if that's the friendship stat. Or the, the one that, uh, you know, evolves baby Pokemon. Saved... I... I guess. Sure. I don't really understand how saving for soft resetting is different from saving normally. But, uh, here is my home. Alright. If it were female, I would have called it Maria. So this is my home. It, it looks like a lovely penthouse suite, to be honest with flowers and, like, windows to the outside. This is way nicer than where I live. So I guess... Is there a player home building in every, uh... Online? What? What do you mean, online or local? bank account. I can manage my own savings? What do you mean, local? Okay, so, like, every individual PC also has item storage? Why? I guess optional, I guess. I just don't really understand it, but hey, I'm living large in a three-story house right next to the Pokemart. I guess they just, like, found an empty building in, uh... Found or remade or claimed an empty building in every, uh, every town for the player to live in. Okay, hold on, hold on. Nope. End conversation. This is important. Why is this not the default? This is a ROM hack. Everyone sets Pokemon text speed to fast. There we go. Stereo sound. Always run. I'm sure. It's at the daytime, I guess. It's a v quite a variety of new things. Encounter fancy. What do you mean? Nurse? Okay, we can speed up the nurse dialogue. Edit pack design. We can change our pack in-game.
All right, lots of options. Options are good. Now, where can we go from here? What can we do? Probably should get some balls. Do I have any money? Uh, 3,000. We get, like, new custom... We get, like, a little a little profile icon, too. That's new. I don't think that was in... Uh, I don't think that's official art. I'm feeling the Gen 2 movement. Do I get... I don't think Premier Balls were here yet. I think that was a... Yeah, that was a... Gen 3 thing. I don't know how well the... I appreciate the sentiment, but I don't know how well a lot of these skin color changes translate to these sprites. This dude seems to have a little bit of green splashed on him. You have less than four badges, so here's the TMs you can choose from. Headbutt Curse, Rock Smash, Hidden Power. Ice Punch. That's quite a selection for early game. Such is the benefit of starting in Celadon, I suppose. Alright, well, we live in a town with a gym, but uh, we should probably, like, try to catch some stuff first. Uh, oh, here's something I didn't consider. This is Gen 2, so it probably has the day-night cycle. And I don't know if I can, uh, I don't know how much I can catch stuff. I'm Fibbeth. Oh, why am I here? Well, once upon a time, Route 7 was my home. You could only find me here. Yeah, it probably doesn't make a lot of sense. Anyways. Uh. I don't think so. Not much of one for battling. I, let, let's try it. Let's try fighting Fibbeth, I guess. Is this like a friend of the dev? Who is Fibbeth? Literally my very first fight with my level 5. He, he's a flamigo. He's got a flamigo hat. My level 5 Houndour. Uh, he's got moves. That's nice. Let me rearrange these a little bit. Uh, I think... Reversal gets stronger after I take a hit? I have no idea what my Houndour stats are. Bug type. Okay, works for me. I wonder if every starter now starts with four moves. Okay, they, they do that thing like in later games where they uh, swap aside to the trainer to, uh, you know, show off a little bit. Gen 4 did that. I don't remember if it happened in uh, earlier games. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't be using my attack stat if it's going to be lowering it. This Togepi dramatically overestimates its charm. I also don't know if this uses Gen 2 mechanics or if there's, like, the physical special split. I should look at my, like, uh, stats screen. Because in Gen 2, all dark moves were special for some reason. 
even though they're all, like, very physical-sounding attacks. Alright, good first opponent. Nicely done. Uh, th thank you for the free heal. What a nice rival. And I got some level balls. This is probably the only game, only part of the game they're going to be useful. Uh, let me look at my stats screen. He's got an item. What is he holding? A berry? Black glasses. Okay. So they're very generous with what they put on the starting Pokemon. A slightly higher, uh, slightly higher special than the physical attack. As I would expect. Not great, e not great IVs. You can even see the, uh, well, wow, you can even see its hidden power, and you can see its uh, happiness stat. That's nice. They added a uh, an extra stat screen with all the normally hidden stuff on it. Let's see if we can find something useful in the grass. I'm assuming by the fact that all Pokémon are catchable that they changed wild encounters fairly significantly, but I don't know to what degree. Or to what degree they utilize the day-night cycle. Oh, that's level 18. Okay. That's right, there are a couple Pokemon in Gen 2 that just flee. Alright, so I'm going to have to train up a little bit. It's a good thing that Fibef was there. What's, uh... Let me see if the... I don't think the Gift Eevee is here in Gen 2. I think that's only in Gen 1, but I don't remember what's up here in Gen 2. Hello? Okay, he, he wants it to be dark so that he can recount. Oh! Alright, well... Save game for soft resetting. So, let me just try this. Okay, so I can, like, look at my Eevee, because this is a gift Pokemon. I got a female Eevee. With, eh, not amazing. Ivy's dragon-type uh, hidden power. It is for shiny grinding. It's also for if you want to get different IVs. So, if I soft reset now with AV start select... I'm at it. Uh, input. Configure. There we go. Yeah, get some speed up going. Now we're now we're Pokemon playing. Uh, is there anything? This is going to be an Umbreon because again, I'm I'm going for like an all a dark team. So. What do I want to call my Umbreon? Let's take a look at its stats again, just to see what, uh... Eevee is 7 eighths male. Special. No HP, low attack. Poison type. Hidden power. Let's do it again! Okay, so this is how the soft reset system works. That's, that's nice. That's a nice quality of life for people who are into, uh into shiny resetting. I hope that... I wonder if it uses different mechanics for the IVs and everything that Gen 2 in native de does. I'm actually trying to get a male EV now. Because sadly, in Gen 2 vanilla, like, male Pokémon were strictly better than female Pokémon. 
not 100% of the time, but like what determined being male or female was being on the slightly lower end of the IV spectrum. And that was also what determined shinies, which meant that some Pokemon, uh, Venusaur did not have a shiny female variant. That didn't exist in Gen 2 because of the way it was calculated. Uh, good HP, good speed, good special, that's fine. It's got a Steel-type hidden power, probably won't be using that. I wonder how difficult this gets. Because I'm not a competitive player. Here's a question. It said that I can, uh, it said that I can have a Pokemon, like, follow me. I wonder how I do that. I have two phone numbers. I can pick music? Oh, it's just a sound test kind of thing. Okay. Maybe it's in the Pokedex? I said the Pokedex did a lot of things now. Alright, introduce me to the Pokedex. Yep, current Pokemon. In the Pokemon screen? Well, that's what I would assume. Pressing start cycles through party members for quick access. Okay. It's a little odd. Info tab is split into many different screens. Many will be self-explanatory. Three stars will appear next to weight based on heavy ball catch rate. Okay. Single star will appear next to gender ratio for any species that was changed? Okay, so I guess Eevees are not one-eighth female anymore in this version. Every move a Pokemon can learn? This is so deep. This is like Cerebi. This is a wiki. This is a wiki. They replaced the Pokedex with like an actual encyclopedia. Location, name, and landmark on the minimap will be displayed. I wonder how... This is probably, like, scripted. Or, like, the, they have preset encounters for every map. It would have been cool if they included a randomizer in this. I know that's a big ask. I just love it so much when games, are like, just include that by, by default. I, I know I'm grumping it. I, I I stopped reading. This is this is more that I care to read about in the Pokedex. I'll I'll figure it out if I need to use it. Seen data can be ignored for users who wish to browse all data with, without being inhibited. It is a little weird in Pokemon games that every. In every game, there's not just, like, a database that you can check for Pokemon. You have to make the database. Wouldn't it be something if someone had already done that? Surely Pokemon Wikipedia exists. Alright, let's see if I can get Eevee to follow me. Is it in the stats screen? No. Switch, move, item. Move changes its moves. How do I get to follow? Can it only be the first one? No. I guess I won't worry about it. Sorry, I'll try not to abuse that too much. Right, let me make some space behind me. Try pressing start over the mon. No. 
Start. Oh, select. Okay, you hit select and then they follow you. Hey, little Eevee friend. They they did this in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the one generation of Pokemon games that I've never played. Other than well, if you if you count Let's Go, then I haven't played those either. Oh, I know Gen better. I remember Gen One a lot better than I remember Gen Two. I know Gen 2 pretty well, but I don't know where, like, specific little items are scattered about or anything like that. Hello? Is this just a free item? Can I take this? Alright, focus band. Uh... So, in the original game, there was a train station here in Saffron that you use to get between Kanto and Johto. I'm wondering how it works now. Oh, I can just I can just go over. Okay. It truly is open world. Everyone just has it it's free train use, free public transit transit. This isn't always the music, is it? This is new music. It also doesn't normally last this long. This is just, this is a new screen, so that you can sit here and, and like, jam as long as you want to. I wonder if there's, like, a bunch of train songs that they included. Hello, who are you? You caught me admiring the magnet train, isn't it great? I'm Kensworth! I'm in charge of repairs for the magnet train. Recently extended its lifespan by using a new type of magnet for the propulsion coils. You can beat me in a Pokemon battle. I'll give you one. Alright, gonna save. Just in case. Although it seems... Uh, well, we, we learned that uh, trainers are scaled to level, so... This should be okay. Beard pompadour dude. What is this song? Is this like Xenoblade or something? So this is gonna be full of like, uh, this is gonna be full of custom music, is what I'm gathering. Shadows trying to learn Roar. Uh, is it worth replacing? Yeah, it's probably worth replacing Leer. I only have one physical attack. Magnet Boy. They're also nicknamed. Hopefully they are, like, very clearly nicknamed, so I have some idea of what they are. Hello, Gleam. I've never seen this game before. J Jack wanted me to play it, so I'm, I'm trying it out. It's an open-world version of Crystal, but it's so open-world that... It, it kind of... It's so open-world that it almost feels like it doesn't matter where you start. I just... I, I walked over to Saffron and I hopped on a train to Johto, so now I'm in, like, a lower-level area. Unfortunately, dark types are all, like, uh, at night. Could I...? Hold on, I just had a thought. I couldn't go to Mount Silver and get a... get a... I could go to Mount Silver and get a, a Larvitar, could I? Could I brave, like, a level 50 area if I wanted to be stupid? We've got a new mission. We're gonna get a Larvitar before our first gym. This is important. Again, that's assuming that it's in the same area that it's in in the, in the vanilla game. Also, yes, Gleam. I, I, I got an Eevee. I started in Celadon, so...
Off the rails! Alright, cool magnet. I got what I came for. Back to dr back to Kanto. What song are we gonna get this time? No, it's the same song. I think. Or if it's a new song, I don't know what it is. It's catchy. Alright, now, how do we get to, uh... Oh, boy. Hmm. We're gonna have to go through Digna tu Diglett Tunnel in order to get to the west side of Kanto. This is gonna be a journey. This is a little more than I thought it would be. I forgot that there's, like, no way to get to that part of Kanto. You know what? We've heard Nurse Joy. Let me just, uh... Next page. Quick Nurse. There we go. Which trainer has fly? Uh... I don't know. Is there- is that like a specific trainer? Where do you get fly? Uh... In the base game... I know you get it in Johto. Where do you get Fly in Gen 2? Just a man talking to his evil twin. Aww. Uh oh. Uh oh, how high level are you? Am I about to suffer? It's a school teacher, Jess. Okay, she's got a Caterpie, that's good. That's a level four Caterpie. I think I'm fine. I forgot, I think... I think all trainers in the world scale to us. Other than, like, the story ones. So wild Pokemon don't scale, but trainers do. Oh, is, does this add fairy type, is a question. Let's learn that right now. Let me try a dark move. It does not seem to add the fairy type. I think this is the Gen 1 battle theme? I can never remember which gen is which for the battle themes. Does it want a ride? I, I don't know, is that a mechanic? Is the gym open? Okay, the gym does not require cut. I figured it wouldn't because they're trying to open it up. I am the Fishing Dude, the elder of the Fishing Brothers. Okay. I was kind of hoping you'd have a fishing rod for me. Need a home? Call Randy Savage? I'm sorry, can I buy homes in this game? Oh yeah, you've got the main man! Let me get my cue cards ready! Place is currently going. You can buy a home like Skyrim. Oh, relocate. No, I want multiple homes. I wanna buy I wanna buy a home in every town and, and hoard property from needy people who need homes. 
The just the realtor is randomly Randy Savage. Okay. Used to be a sleeping Pokemon in front of Diglett Tunnel, but then a trainer woke it up. This is a world where people, like, problems actually get solved. Hello, you just hanging out? I, I, did, I couldn't think of anything else to name my Eevee. It's gonna be an Umbreon. I'm going for an all-dark team. Take this and leave me alone. No, I want through. You're, you're just an obstacle with a free item. Okay. I'm not gonna fight that Snorlax. That Snorlax is a little, uh, probably above my level. Yes, I say very, very often. I know. I'm, I'm paranoid. I should probably, like, speed up through the saving, at least. Is Diglett Cave still full of Diglets, I wonder? No, it's full of nothing. Alright, that works for me. Are you a trainer? Yes, you're a trainer. A trainer with very heavy, like, inking. She's got an, as much, like, solid black on her. She looks like a, a Majora's Mask character. It's always kind of arbitrary which fan games update update everything to be, like, modern Pokémon and which ones don't. This one seems to lean more heavily towards uh, retaining the Gen 2 engine and everything. They didn't re-add Fairy-type, and they don't seem to have the physical special split. I should just relax. But this is the world of Pokemon. That's the only way to relax is by is by cockfighting. That's everybody's hobby, bar none. All right, down through the forest. We're on our way to Mount Silver. No badges. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, this is new. Viridian Forest was re-added. It was not present in Gen 2. I'll fight some trainers on the way, because I should, uh, I should, like, do some leveling. <clears throat> so what Pokémon existed by Gen 2? What dark Pokémon, I should say. Obviously I'm gonna try to get Tyranitar. Uh, there's Umbra Umbreon, there's Houndour. Murkrow, but if it's like the original Gen 2, Murkrow can only be caught at night. And I don't know if it's even in the same spot. It is conveniently... I think it's in the Field of Grass, just east of Celadon? That might be Houndour. Oh, and Sneasel, yeah. Well, that's convenient, because if I am going to Mount Silver, that's also where I could get Sneasel. Well in gold silver. In crystal, they didn't hold out on Sneasel. They let you get it at the ice cave. Which probably makes more sense for a Sneasel location. Oh, I could catch this. Oh, I could've. An EXP share would be nice. I know, I'm spoiled by mod modern Pokemon games, but man, it's so convenient to be able to, like, change your party. I 
I think I did only have... You're right, there were only five dark types in Gen 2. Because I had to fill out my, my final party member with... I think I used an Ursa Ring in our Gen 2 playthrough. These trainers are kind of nothing. These starting teams are way worse than uh, than what you would encounter in Viridian Forest in Gen 1. And that's a pretty low bar. At least there's variety, though. At least they're using the Johto bugs. Uh, what can I use that won't kill this thing? I could just throw a ball, I guess. Let's see how, how much Reversal does, because it'll be neutral. I don't have a huge attack stat. Can I get away with another one? I'm not going to risk it. You already have a badge by Viridian. I have no badges yet. I have not been to any gyms. Okay, still two-page Pokedex entries. I am not going to use Pidgey. I'm not going to worry about nicknaming Pokemon that I will not use. Hello. Just, uh, just here, being a Sudowoodoo? In Vanilla, no. Vanilla, your first badge would be in Pewter, which is north of here. It's, a uh, Brock. Because Viridian is Giovanni, and he's the, he's the final gym. Or in the anime, it's Team Rocket using some weird electroshock pain machine. What an insult that gym was in the anime. Yeah, Team Rocket, the final boss. Like they've ever been difficult to beat. This sounds different. Like it's in a different sound font than it should be. I still don't know if this is the Gen 1 or Gen 2 theme. Battle theme. Which there are multiple battle themes in each gen. Like the Gen 1 has a different theme for wild Pokemon or a, a trainer fight. Look, variety! Bug catchers are using, like, all the bug Pokémon. Except, like, Scyther. We're probably not gonna see a Scyther. Proving Ash could never beat Giovanni. Yeah! That was a way to maintain his, like, mystique as a villain. Because, like, if Gen 1 Ash beat Giovanni... That would be it for Team Rocket. You could, you could never, con you couldn't continue using them as villains after that. Ah, uh, the day-night cycle is going to be annoying because I'm obviously I'm streaming this, so. Uh... Pardon me, I needed to sneeze. Uh, I guess if I do more streams of this, which I could, I could do a few streams of this at least. I might have to catch some nighttime Pokemon like Murkrow or possibly Sneasel off stream. If I were if I were not streaming this, I would be holding the the speed up button constantly. I would be mashing through all of these battles, but I feel like that would be annoying for the stream, so I'm not going to do that. Are there Pikachu in Viridian Forest? I wonder.
No one likes Raichu. Poor Raichu gets so overshadowed by Pikachu. It got a new, it got a new form. It got a new like evolution in Gen 7. No one cared. It was kind of weird. It, 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 Alolan Raichu is kind of a weird Pokemon. I know it has fans, but... Let's see if we can find anything cool here. I'm going for a dark team, but I'll still, uh... I'll still try to fill out my decks to a reasonable degree. Surely there's bugs here. It can't all be Pidgeys. Okay, Caterpie. Good old Gen 2 Pidgey with its uh, complete lack of flying moves. No longer starts with Gust, just Tackle. Gust becoming a flying move in Gen 2, because it was a normal move in Gen 1. For some reason. There's no flying type in Pal World. So uh, all the- all- a bunch of normal moves are like gusts of wind. And wind-based attacks. Alright, Route 2. I'm gonna save just in case I get ambushed by any, uh, spooky trainers like this guy! Sorry, I forgot to, uh... Speed up is so nice. Let me get Pidgey out of there. There we go. Anything cool in this grass? It's probably- probably Rattatas. Oh no, there's there's Butterfree here? Okay. Well, I don't need one of those, but, uh, could be some nice EXP. Nah, I'm good. Oh, no! <sighs> Alright. I could keep trying to run, but it can't damage me anyway. See you later, Gleam. I'm only training one Pokemon. Sorry, it's Pokemon. Gotta say it right. Okay, now he says he's only training one Pokemon, but what he means is he's only going to train one Pokemon. This thing's level three. Surely he can't have trained it yet. Did he raise it from level 2, and he's just really proud of that? I wonder if trainers give phone numbers in this game. No, no cut bush here? Okay. Hello, who are you? Are you gonna fight? Do we fight in a Pokemon Center? Heard there's a new Cinnabar Island. Wonder if Blaine built a new gym on it. There were two Cinnabar Island locations to, to start at. You could either start on Cinnabar Island proper, or you could start on the uh, volcano. The Seafoam Islands, where you meet Blaine in the base game. Which, I wonder what that would be like. Because you'd have to start with Surf, or you'd have to be able to get Surf on one of those islands in order to progress the game. 
Unless there's like a path you can take. There's just like a giant land bridge off the island or something. But surely not. Maybe there's a ferry service. That seems like a way that you could do it. Let's go ahead and catch this to fill out the Pokedex. I don't have an EXP item, do I? A key to... Okay, I, why do I need a key to my house? No, I don't. It would be so great to have an EXP all right now. to worry about. We don't got those in this game. Her ball is blue. I wonder if that was the case with the original Crystal Sprite. Or if that's just part of the, uh, I guess it would have to be, because they only had so many colors that they were using for the, uh, each of the palettes. Alright, hello. Mount Silver was just opened publicly. Yeah! There's so much grass here, I only made it a few steps before a high-level Pokémon appeared and wiped me out. Don't jump in unless you're- Fuck it! I'm ready, coach! Put me in! Let me just- let me, let me prove how ready I am by saving first, though. One I didn't even make a single step. Okay, Tangela usually run away immediately. No, flee. Escape. You should run from me, because I'm I'm a scary dog. Uh oh. Do over. Mulligan. It's alright, we just got unlucky, that's all. Arbok. You know what would be great right now? A smoke ball. Who is faster between, uh, not that it's probably going to matter against these Pokemon, but, uh, yeah, Houndour is my fastest. I know, they, they specifically included an NPC to say, hey, don't go here. You, you'd be stupid to jump into this grass. Brief moment of safety. And immediately. Hello, Bublix. I have just started the game. I have no gym badges. And I'm attempting to go to Mount Silver to catch me a Larvitar. That, that is my plan. It's not going well. Dodrios are slow, right? They're easy to escape from. Mulligan. That timeline didn't count. I could do the thing where I save every single step. I could resort to that if I really want to. Look, it's an unevolved Pokémon. This one will be easy. Do I save here? I just lost a Mon. Is that worth the sacrifice? I could use my one Max Revive that I found. 
if I get into a really sticky situation. I want to get a Larvitar, and I want to get a, uh... Silver Cave. We're on the map. We're almost there. I want to get a Sneasel, but they're... In Crystal, they were not here anymore. This is what we're doing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Run, Gleam! No! Flee! Poison Sting. Okay, Poison Sting won't kill it. I can't believe I got killed. I got one-shotted by Poison Sting. Alright, Bird escaped. Oh, it's so close! It's right there! Bird, flee! Bird, escape! Don't be spooked! We, we made it! We are not gonna get away from anything now. We have a level 3 paralyzed bird. It can barely move. I am dragging it along the ground to the Pokémon Center. One stay. There's one patch of grass between us and the Pokemon Center. We got this. I'm gonna be very upset if they removed this Pokemon Center. Mother! Nope. Do over. Didn't count. Okay, it's here. With everyone's favorite purple haired old lady. We all remember the NPC. Hi, how you doing? Trainers who seek power climb Mount Silver despite its many dangers. With their trusted Pokémon, they must feel they can go anywhere. I uh, guess I have a lot of faith in my level three Eevee. Uh, sorry, my level three Pidgey. Let me make some deposits so that I have some party space for what I might encounter in this cave. I kind of like Pidgey. Pidgey. Pidgey's a bro. Gal. Pidgey's a gal. I like her. She got she got me through that field of grass. Uh, uh, mm. I wanted to save on the ledge, but okay. All this is just getting to the cave. Larvitar is rare in the cave. In the vanilla game, and even if we encounter one, we're going to have to get- Oh no! Ah! Oh! There's someone guarding it! Okay, wait, no. Trainer scale. So, this guy will also be here with a bunch of level 5 Pokemon. Okay. Game recognize game. They, they knew that someone would attempt this. The creator of this hack was like, he, he was programming all the trainers with all their levels, different levels of party. And they programmed this dude with a, a team of level threes, knowing that some idiot was going to come here with no gym badges. I don't recognize this track. Oh yeah. No badge Pokemon battles, where every Pokemon only has two moves. That's going to, uh, that's going to hurt Eevee's happiness. That I just, uh, I, j I let it faint to get here. I don't think there's any Zelda music in this.
I was really worried when I saw that there was a guard here. Until I remembered that, uh... Until I remembered the trainer's scale. He's a bird keeper. He probably just flew here on his Pidgey. Which... Another weird thing in Pokemon. Imagine that. Imagine flying somewhere on a Pidgey. Or a sp sorry, a, a Spearow. Do you just, like, hang onto its feet like a paraglider? I want to look up game locations. Okay, there's a, a guide for playing Pokemon Crystal Clear. Because I want to be sure that, uh, that Larvitar is in here. Larvitar. No, not on this page. Well, let's just look around a bit. We, we made it here. I'm gonna do some resetting, I'm gonna do some speeding up, because uh, this is gonna take a little while. Unless Larvitar's only on the inner chamber. What is it? Oh, I went back outside because I was speeding up. Whoops. It's possible that Larvitar might only be deeper in. Pokemon Silver Cave. Let me double check what the encounters were in the van in the vanilla game. Pokemon Generation 2. Uh first floor. It's a 5% encounter, except at night when it doesn't appear. So if it's the same encounters, but that's how much Onyx sucks that I can run from it at this level, by the way. Okay, Magmar. So if it's the vanilla encounters, then they do exist here at a 5% rate, but Hold on, Magmar. Are there Magmars here? Yes, in Crystal, there are a 10% Magmar encounter rate in Silver Cave. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to reset until I find a Larvitar. This is what we came here for. This is all part of the plan. If it's 5%, it'll take us on average 20 tries. And I want to mail one because I'm picky like that. You know what? This is a lot of work, but it's also the only time in a Pokemon game that I could reasonably start with a uh, start with a Larvitar. So I appreciate that. There we go. Yes. All right. Now oh, it's even level 15. I just have to catch it. So what can I, uh, I can use Reversal. I can actually fight this. Not only is it, uh... Not only am I able to get here, but it's actually conveniently at a level that I can, I can catch it. Because it has to be, it evolves at level 30. If it was in the vanilla game, if it was here at, like, level 40, 50, like everything else, then there wouldn't be any point in the evolution level. I could probably do another, but I really don't want to risk getting a crit. So I'm going to see if I can manage this. Oh, almost. Almost. We're gonna do it. This was worth it. Come on, get the ball. Get in the bag, Nebby. Oh. I 
could use Eevee. I could tackle it a few times. You know what? <sighs> Do I dare, though? Like, what if I crit with Eevee? It's rock type. It's not going to do that much. I can also sand attack to make it miss. Make it, well, now I'm going to run out of balls before it matters. So Sandstorm, uh... Sandstorm does one-eighth of the Pokémon's health every turn in Gen 2. It was nerfed to 1 16th in uh, Gen 3 and on. And Hail didn't exist until Gen 4. Two, three... Ah! We gotta get this one. I'm gonna be very upsetty if we miss out on this Larvitar. This is a 2.5% chance. Do I have any, uh, do I have any healing items? I have a potion. I have a Max Revive, but I would like to save that. Uh-oh. That's not good. It's not a lower level than me, so a level ball is not going to be effective. Uh, a difference in Gen 2 compared to later Gens is that the game does not track what ball something was caught in. So even if I catch it with a level ball, it's not going to... Uh, it's not going to keep track of that. How many Pokémon are in the Pokédex? It is all 251 Pokémon as of Gen 2. Are, uh, are obtainable in some way in this ROM hack. <sighs> it's at a good level, but it's still a pseudo-legendary, so it has the same, like... I, th I assume the same catch rate as, like, Dratini. Okay. We got it. Rock skin Pokemon. Born deep underground, this Pokemon becomes a pupa after eating enough dirt to make a mountain. I think that's the vanilla crystal entries. I think so. I think these are the vanilla. All these are the vanilla crystal entries. Gogeta! All right, we got our third team member. How is it? Uh, no defense, Ivy. Awful defense, but it's proud of its power. It's got a sweet, sweet mid-15 attack, Ivy. Your dumb persistence paid off. That's right, it did. And if it paid off, then it wasn't dumb. Now, how are you getting out? Well, the same way I came in, I'll walk. Getting out is not a problem, because even if I, like, die, I'll go back to a Pokémon Center, because the, the Pokémon series is magic like that. You know, the world of wild Pokémon is lethal. You don't want to be out without, you know, your own Pokémon for protection, but, you know, if you are, it's alright. You can just run back to the Pokémon Center with your tired Pokémon in your arms, and the wild Pokémon will leave you alone, instead of mauling you to death. Actually, you know, it's kind of vague how, uh... It's kind of vague how Game Overs work in Pokémon, because even if that happens... Everyone still acts like you never lost.
Like, a, a story won't go on without you or anything. You'll go back to the Team Rocket grunt or the, 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 the boss or whatever you were fighting. They'll be like, ah, nice to meet you. All right. Time out. All my Pokemon are fainted. Wild Pokemon. By rule of honor, you are no longer allowed to attack me on my way back to the Pokemon Center. See, now I'm fine. I'm good. Uh, I do, however, have to walk back from here. So that's something that I gotta figure out. That we're, we're gonna have to get lucky again. What have you got? You found DJ Lily's hideaway. I'll give you this for keeping my secret. What's TM47? Need a home? Wait, I can buy this house? I can buy this lady's house from her? Twenty thousand. Oh, I could have started at Mount Silver. Maybe. I guess this could have. Maybe she would have been my roommate. Maybe I wouldn't be kicking her out. All right. It seems like we can relatively safely walk back. I probably should have also talked to that NPC just to see what it was. I assumed that it was a trainer, like the other NPC that, that I've talked to so far. I also hope the bag space has been increased. That would be nice. Alright, well now that we made it all the way here... Should we try to go all the way back to get a Sneasel? How much of my party could I get before, uh, before, like, engaging with the game? Uh, Pokemon Ice Cave. That's Ice Path. Very different. I mean, I just want to make sure that Sneasel can be found there, like, during the day, and they're not, like, a nighttime-only encounter. Basement Floor 2F. Basement Floor 3F. They are a nighttime-only encounter, and they're still rare even at night. So, I'll have to just find my way to Sneasel, and, uh, I, gu I guess get it off-stream sometime, like, at night. Well, we're here, so... Hello. This gym didn't have a leader until recently. A young man from Pallet became the leader, but he's often away. Can we fight him? Alright. Let's fight the weakest, lamest gym leader in the land. Our first gym leader that we take on will be, will be this loser, Blue, Gary Oak. Finally got here. I took over this gym after Giovanni vanished. What a pathetic loser. The gym I run is no ordinary gym. You can't just figure out my type and exploit it. But hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you're good or not by battling you right now. All right, ass catchin'. You'll never be ready for my level three Abra. Oh, he's level 7. I'm impressed. See, because... Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say because Dark is a special type, it might even be better to use my Eevee, but uh, it didn't matter. Just one shot of the Abra. Is this just like an unevolved version of his final team? Instead of a Pidgeot, he has a Pidgey. Instead of an Alakazam, he's got Abra. What else does he have? 
originally. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember his, the rest of his team. Oh, right, he's blue, so, uh... Probably should have swapped. You know what? I think I'm gonna turn off the, uh, I'm gonna turn off switch mode. Because I haven't been using it, and it's, uh... It's considered a bit unchadly to play a Pokemon game with the uh, switch mode on. Oh, come on, we doing this? Gym leaders and your items? Fine. Making me switch. Well, it'd be great if uh, Eevee could learn another attack. You know what? I should have, uh... I should have spent some money on that headbutt TM. That's something that would be nice if uh, the TMs were made to be multi-use, like in later gems. I'm assuming they're not. Aside from this, I've also been playing uh, Pokemon Red and Blue on Archipelago with some friends. Not on stream. And that has a ton of changes made to it. Some of them optional, some of them not. Some of them necessary for Archipelago, like uh, the SSN never leaves. And uh, Team Rocket doesn't, like, vacate the Saffron building. But then there's also some quality of life stuff that I don't remember if it's optional. Like uh, TMs being multi-use, and that's great. I love that I can play Pokemon Red and Blue with infinite-use TMs. It's just wonderful. All right, I'm gonna switch back to Houndour. Even though I, I wouldn't normally have this opportunity. You know what? No, I will, because I want to preserve... I want to make sure Gleam is nice and happy, because Dead D needs to evolve. You're unprepared for this. We'll knock you down with my level 8 Rattata. I guess I should be using Reversal. Even though my attack stat is a little bit weaker, but... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope, we're good, we're fine. How the heck did I lose to you? All right, our very first badge was blue. You're the real deal. I should show him my Larvitar. I should show him that I've been to Mount Silver and back before my first gym badge. Listen, you. You better not lose until I beat you. Got it? Yo, what up? You are truly tough. That was a heck of an inspirational battle. It brought tears to my eyes. I just kind of spammed Ember a bunch. Hello, this is the official Pokemon League office. Congratulations! You've completed your very first gym challenge. You're now on, the, on your way to the Pokemon League. We've updated your account to reflect your new badge, and we'll call, you, call to update you every time you complete a gym challenge. You'll find that having more badges will expand your selection at any local Pokemart. Kanto trainers can visit one of Professor Oak's aides over on Route 10 for a flashy gift. Johto trainers may want to visit Sprout Tower in Violet City. Okay, so you can... I guess you can get the HM locations from either the Gen 1 or Gen 2 locations. Because Flash was in Sprout Tower in Pokemon Crystal. <laughs> I 
Come on. I can even get to the Flash House, because I can go through, uh... I gotta walk through Viridian Forest again, but... Could I have gotten the Fly HM? Like, right next to where I, I started in Celadon? I didn't think to check if that cut bush was there or not. Oh, hey Pikachu. Uh, unfortunately my only low-level Pokémon is, uh... Pidgey. Which, it's not gonna do well. Maybe it can take a hit. Probably not, though. It's probably gonna be, uh... Yeah, maybe I'll get one attack in, if I'm lucky. Maybe I'll use Growl again. Maybe I'll get two attacks in. I don't really have any reason for filling out the Pokedex, because this I'm not going to be, like, 100%ing this, but, uh... You know what? Level Ball. Might as well use him. I don't know. It seems good to catch things if I see them, because, uh... Well, I guess... I don't know if there's, like, if there's, like, number of Pokémon caught checks. That's really a Gen 1 thing. Quick-tempered. I went to check its stats, and then I immediately forgot what I was checking them for. was a hoot hoot. Even though it's daytime, because I guess this this place is dark. I wonder how common this is. Maybe I'll get a hoot hoot. It's not a dark type, but maybe I'll have a Noctowl on the team, even though Noctowl is just fucking awful. But, uh, you know, he's a cool little dude. I like him. And I need a flyer, eventually. Now that's how much damage a Poison Sting should do. What was Arbok doing with Poison Sting at level 44? I guess that's Gen 2 movesets for you. I didn't want to. Nope. No nickname for Weedle. Uh, I just want to get to the Pokemon Center. I kind of assumed this went without saying, but just in case anyone has not played the original Gen 2. Crystal was the first time we got the choice of a male or female character. So it was when uh, Chris here was introduced. The base game of Gold and Silver still only let you play as a boy. Oh, it is night. Oh, because it's past 6 o'clock. Okay. Wait, in that case... Hold on. 
Uh, well, it is nighttime, but we would have to get to the third story of... We would have to get, like, to the third basement story. Of, uh, of the ice cavern. Where are, where are, uh... Hold on a second. Pokemon. Murkrow. I know, like, all the dark Pokemon are only available in Kanto in Gen 2, because they're, they're mean like that. They have this cool new type, and they don't, don't let you get any of them until post-game. Game locations. Route 7 and 16 at night. Celadon City to Route 17 in the south. Okay, so it is... Murkrow is available surrounding Celadon City. Man, I was about to get, uh... I was about to get a Noctowl for the party, and I'd call it Jack, and it'd be cool, and Jack would love it, but... I just remembered I'm getting a Murkrow, and that's a flying type, so... Sorry. No, run. Flee. You know what? Yeah, dig this. What are you gonna do now? It probably has scratch. I was very lucky to have gotten here with no encounters the first time. Now I'm gonna have to do the save and walk thing. Murkrow is underrated. People do like Murkrow. In terms of design, I like it more than its evolution, Honchkrow. Because Honchkrow looks... It's a cool Pokemon in terms of utility, but it, it looks kind of goofy. With, the, like, the mob boss thing going on. I'd kind of like it if Murkrow's hat was a little less pronounced. I like it more as just like a dark, spooky bird, and not like the mafia thing it's got going on. I could catch one of these, I guess. I don't have a Diglett. This will probably kill it. Diglett got none of that HP. Okay, now we're good. I also need to get more balls. Diglett Acquired. Look at this little dude. He's just a little guy. Let me out. No! Escape! Leave! I'm so tired of Diglett's... Level 4. Get out of here. No. Well, that was some bad luck that the first one I encountered was level 32. Let's put Gleam in front. He's, he's down. He's down a level. He needs to catch up. Hypothetically, could I go wake Snorlax? The Sound of Pig. X5 Dynamo's theme. Is that a Mega Man X thing? It's probably Mega Man X5, I would assume. Radio Zero, Mega Man 7. You think they're Mega Man fans, maybe. Places and people. Pokemon Lullaby. There it is. Okay, so I could... Hmm. I could awaken and fight Snorlax. I could do it. It'd be dumb. I don't have very... I would have to, like... I would have to basically spam Pokeballs and pray. But I could do it. Why is it... 
letting me spend more than I have. Am, am I gonna go into debt? No, okay. I can only buy 10 balls. I have not been fighting enough trainers. You know what, let's sell some stuff. We need to, we need to make some money. HP up is too valuable to use. Oh, I had a repel I could have used. I'm dumb. <sighs> Am I going to use a repel? I already passed the primary opportunity to use a repel. Like, that was my best... Unless... Unless I use it in the... No. It, it's not going to... It's not going to last long enough to use it in the... Uh, in the ice cave. I'll hang on to it just in case I find an opportunity to use the repel. It could come up. Go ahead and put my, uh, organize my items a little bit. An auto sort would be nice. What does Focus Banda do? Pot might prevent fainting. I'll give it to give it to Gleam just because. Get some more balls so that I have plenty of them. I don't I want no shortage of Pokeballs ever. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna make one attempt. I'm gonna be dumb. What is my strategy here. You know what? I have an idea. I have a plan. Let's try to catch a. What? Well, hold on. I just realized I have a bunch of I have a bunch of freeloaders. I need to get rid of. Let me deposit these first. Get rid of Weedle. Get rid of Pidgey. Sorry, you too, Pikachu. All right, let's do something very ill-advised. The Pokegear was placed near the sleeping Snorlax. Snorlax woke up! <sighs> no. Again, nice feature for shiny hunting. Oh, it's level 10, the Snorlax scales! Okay, well that's way easier. I was totally prepared to fight a level 30 or level 50 Snorlax, or whatever it was in Gen 2. My plan was going to be spam sand attacks to get its accuracy down. And then I was going to use Sandstorm, which takes off one-eighth of a health. One-eighth of their health every turn, no matter what. Gonna have a ton of special defense, but that's okay. I'll only use physical attacks. I'm not gonna take any chances. I'm gonna make it minimum. Oh, no strength? Okay, that's a weird move for it to just know. Gleam's never gonna evolve. It's always gonna be unhappy. Oh no, that that's right, Dark is special. That was a crit. Oh, and it also has, uh, it has leftovers. However, I believe leftovers only heal 1 16th. Even in this gen.
No? Okay. No, it's this... Is it? I can't tell. Shadow, go get him. Pokemon Leftovers. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Restores 1 16th. Yeah? Okay, so leftovers have always been 1 16th, but uh, Sandstorm was 1 8th. Oh, it had to be a crit. Alright, well, it doesn't seem to have rest, which is great. If Snorlax scales with badges, then I lucked out by fighting it before it gained rest. I should probably use a level ball, because it's not a, a lot lower than me, but it is a little bit lower. I'll wait until its HP is as down as, as low as it's going to get. You know what? So, because it's cancelled out by half, it's gonna be lowered by five sixteenths of its health. I'm gonna I'm gonna do another sandstorm. We, we gotta fight the Snorlax with the power of math. I'm impressed that it's hit me as much as it has with minus five accuracy. There's also, you'll notice there's no text for leftovers. It just gets health back. And since this is where you get leftovers in Gen 2, you would have no idea what was happening until after you caught the Snorlax. Could I build a whole team? this stream. How long have I been going? I'm, I haven't quite hit two hours yet. Would it be possible to get to the, to the third basement of the ice ca of the ice path? Ugh. Okay, the sandstorm has subsided. Uh, I don't want to use another one yet. Let me wait one more turn. The Sandstorm does proc first, though, so when it gets down to its final one-eighth of health, the Sandstorm will kill it. This has been all a catching stream. I've barely touched the trainers or the gym leaders. Come on. Get the ball, Snorlax. Got him! All right. This Pokemon's stomach is so strong, even eating moldy or rotten food will not affect it. Alright, Jack, you are going to be my owl friend, but I'm not getting an owl, so instead, instead you will be my Snorlax friend. And it, it, has, it has its leftovers, which is great. Do I want to keep it on Snorlax, though, I wonder? 
I also have strength now because of that. I wonder if I can use it or if I need to get a uh, get a badge first. All right, I'm gonna. Go. I could. I could get a six-party team. I'm gonna go for it. I. I know, people probably want to see more of the game. They want to see more of the gym leaders and things. But uh, it's nighttime, so this feels doable. While I'm here, let me check if, uh... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to check for the, uh, the Flash HM. Let me see if I can get Fly. Oh. Probably should have saved before I did that, in case I got a wild encounter. Hey, you got Fly for me? You should really get a few more badges. I had three badges before I was even allowed to teach my Pokémon to fly. Alright. I, I guess I should have figured that. The Pokémon League will call and tell me when I can, uh, when I can do that. In which case... Maybe we should take on another gym or two. Oh, ditto. Hello. Just, uh, hanging out in the grass here? Do I really want to spend Pokeballs on a Ditto, though? I will. Alright. It's good if I need to breed anything. This move was a programming mess in Gen 1. Transform destroyed the game. Which I... what didn't destroy Gen 1, but... The number of glitches tied to Transform was very numerous compared to any any other move that I can think of. Gonna get me a purple Eevee. Eventually. My favorite Pokemon fan theory is probably the one where uh, Dittos are all failed Mew clones. Which I've heard people renounce that. There's like, there's canonical reasons not to believe that. There's, there's holes in the theory, but... It also makes a lot of cool points about how they have the same co Mew has the same color and shiny color as Ditto. They have the same stat spread, which is even across the board. And I think it was that... Something about where Ditto was located. I think they could only be found in, like, the Cinnabar Lab and the uh, Cerulean Cave. In, like, the original Japanese Red and Green. I'm probably misremembering that. I might be thinking of the American one only. All right, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna go catch a Murkrow. I'm gonna catch a Murkrow, and then we'll uh, maybe we'll take on a gym or two so we can get fly. Conveniently, my starter is a Fire Dark type, and the two gyms closest to here are Grass and Psychic type. All right, if this is the vanilla locations, and there should be Murkrow in this grass. Yeah. And I'm at a level that I can fight him now, too. Oh god, it hurts. I'm kind of, I'm kind of at a level where I can fight him. Maybe not with, uh, maybe not Gleam. Uh, 
Goji. Gogeta. Gogeta, Gogeta, Gogeta. That should hurt it. Oh, but I only have bite. Gogeta got no moves. That's not the thing. Oh, I just spent all my money on Pokeballs. Otherwise, otherwise I could buy some uh, some TMs like Headbutt. Haze is a nice move to have. I might keep that on Murkrow. Murkrow is a deceptively high utility Pokemon in later gens. I don't know about Gen 2. But Haze is nice. I hope I didn't do too much. I hope it's not about to die. I wasn't counting Sandstorm turns. Okay, Sandstorm is done. Uh, do I dare bite one more time? I don't think I'm gonna risk it. Killed by a peck. I should really be trying harder to prevent, like, Eevee from dying. Probably taken a big hit to its happiness this stream. Which conveniently, if I could like raise its happiness happiness enough. Now I was gonna say it's nighttime now, so I could evolve it, but there's no way to uh I don't think there's any way to rapidly gain happiness in this gen. I could just run around a lot. I could speed up the game and literally just run back and forth. They also gain a good chunk of happiness from beating a uh, gym leader. Feeded items? Sadly, that only works in Pokemon Yellow. Also, I don't... Well, in Pokemon Yellow, you can, uh, you can spam items, and even if they don't have any effect, it'll raise happiness. But uh, that doesn't work in this game. They get a pretty big boost from beating gym leaders. So if I do that and I do some walking, I might be able to... Uh, I might be able to... Uh, evolve Gleam this stream. Won't speeding it up also desync the clock? Oh shoot, I think you're right. I gotta check what the in-game clock is now. Because I remember doing that, I remember experiencing that when I played Gen 2 for, uh, for Retro Achievements. It's kind of a blessing in disguise because we got it to be a night time. Which is convenient for this stream. Just, just get in the ball. Any ideas for a Murkrow name? Any suggestions? I'm thinking Karasu. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of weaving it up. That sounds like something an in-game trainer would name it. Who was the witch from Sword in the Stone? Well, this one's male. I think it's gonna KO my whole team. I don't think I, I might not get this one. Ah, oh, just getting the ball! 
I don't want to use. I don't want to use my max revive. It's too valuable an item for this dude. Last chance. Last ball. Two. Oh, only two shakes. We gotta find another one. Uh, game clock. It is 6.28 p.m. No, it is in fact not desyncing the clock. What a forgotten Disney villain. Madam Mim. That was the sword and the villain. Which? Sword and the villain. The sword and the stone. No, sword and the villain is how fantasy movies usually end. Okay, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to find a Murkrow and I'm going to start the fight with the uh, sand attacks. Yes, Meowth, you're very cute. But I'm not looking for Meowths right now. There we go. It does so much damage immediately. They're too strong in these parts. I, I don't want to take it. I don't want to take Gleam out. Maybe the sand attack strat is ill-advised. What else can I do? Maybe, just, maybe I should just get it down quickly. You know what? I'm gonna take the leftovers, and I'm giving to Gojira so he can be a tank, so he can take the uh, take the hits better. He's not gonna be able to take pursuit, but if if it uses Peck, then Gojira can last quite a bit longer. No, I have no paralysis or sleep moves. God, that's so damaging. And it's fast, too. Granted, it's several levels above me, but... Alright. You know what? Let's do the gyms first. The gyms are at our level. The wild Pokémon are not. Let's do the grass gym. The grass gym will be easy, right? I'm sure I won't be poisoned and paralyzed and slept six ways from Sunday. I'll just keep Shadow in front. I'll, I'll, I'll be cheesy and easy. And type advantage exploiteasy. Now, how high are their levels as the second gym? Okay, level 10. I'm appropriate leveled for a second gym. Hopefully, I will level up enough in this gym to be at a good level for third gym. It's so nice when that happens, isn't it? The OG Weedmon. Before Weed Cat, there was merely weed. Oddish counterattacks by smelling nice. this advertisement. Sword in the Stone. It's the happiest Disney of them all. I don't know about that. I remember for some disturbing scenes in Sword in the Stone. Stoner comedy, Oddish and Meowscara. It kind of loses the weed connotations when it evolves. 
Like people, you the 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 weed cat is like the unevolved one, but once it's Meowskara, Meowskara, I don't know how to pronounce that. Then it's just fur bait. What is that animation? I never knew what that was. Are they spinning? Their faces just disappear. I also wonder where you get the, uh, the evolution stones in this version. Because in the original Gen 2, believe it or not, there was only one copy of every evolution stone. In the entire game, you only get one fire stone, one water stone, one leaf stone, and one thunder stone. And they're all from Bill's grandpa, up in his house above Cerulean City. Which wasn't a big deal in Gen 2, because you could duplicate items very, very easily, but... By design, that's kind of gross that you only get one of each. Everyone's favorite Pokémon, Hoppip. It was nice that you got access to a type like Grass Flying early in the game, but boy was it not useful. Even fully evolved. Who wants Jump Pluff? Despite all the other things I love about Gen 2, it suffers from the shortcoming of, uh, really digging into the idea that Pokémon all need to be marketable plushies. That was the Gen 2 design philosophy. Marketable plushies. And then they fully 180 in Gen 3, which was my favorite gen in terms of Pokemon design. Not my first, I was a Gen 1-er. But uh, Gen 3, the director basically decided, they were told to make marketable, marketable plushies, and the director said, you know what, we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna make, like, cool-looking, spiky, monstrous things that are gonna be awful to render in 3D. And they're gonna be terrible to make into figures, but... They look cool, so we're gonna do them anyway. And Gen 3 got a lot of really cool-looking designs as a result of that. Come here with my fire dog, and I learn poison moves as I'm going through the gym. Probably not gonna use it. Smog is not a, like, good poison move, but... It is another physical attack that I now have. Here, let's see how much it does. I think it's like 20 power. This was, of course, before the addition of the fairy type, so, uh... Steel and poison were kind of useless offensively. I knew that the gym the gym leaders and by extension the gym trainers all scaled with the level. It's kind of impressive that they did that for every trainer in the game. Especially because this game, this version of the game has you know, 16 badges. So they had to come up with 16 different teams for every single trainer in this game's in this game world. you could buy evolution stones here. You could in Gen 1, that was where you got them. And that's like the only gen that you do that in. Where you can just buy the evolution stones. And you know what? That was great! I love that you could do that in Gen 1. 
There are so many places in Gen 1 that you just get to, and then there, everything opens up. You get to Celadon, and you get a bunch of cool TMs all at once, and you get, uh... You get all the evolution stones. You can finally evolve all your stone mons. Oh, God. I was trying to save my Ember PP, but Smog does not want to hit, so... Truly a, a move just not worth using. I also could have used... This, this is a Psychic type. I could also use Pursuit just as easily. Well, I was hoping that I could go on straight to the gym leader, but thanks to you, Beauty Julia, I gotta go back to the Pokemon Center now. Making me walk my ass across Celadon. This game is a labor of love. Most successful Pokemon fan projects, most successful pro fan projects in general, have, I, I don't even need to say that, a ton of love and work put into them. Which is why it's always so sad when, you know, one of the companies goes after them and just cans the project. Some of the highest profile ones I remember going down are the Mario Battle Royale, uh, another Metroid 2 remake. Are those the two biggest? I feel like I'm forgetting one other, like, really big, well-known one that got canned. That got shut down. Hello, Erica. I have lots of other Pokémon to level up, but, uh, I, I'm kind of focusing a little too much on Houndour. For the longest time, I pronounced it Houndour, because I completely missed that it was a play on the word dour, like, you know, sad. The entire GTA San Andreas mod community. You mentioned that they, uh, when the, the, like, the new trilogy, the remastered definitive edition whatever came out, that, uh, Rockstar, they, they, like, nuked the original version on Steam and all the mods for it? Is that what happened? There are not many Bellsprout users in this gym. None of, none of these girls like the... Like how, like, Weepin' Bell and Victory Bell look, I guess. Alright, that's quite a leap in the gym leader level. The gym trainers were all around level 10, 11. She's got level 16. For a split second, I was considering breaking out, uh bring out Larvitar for the Sandstorm. But he would just be a full f full heal for them if they use Giga Drain. Hopip. Uh... This is probably a mistake. I'm gonna guess this Hopip probably knows a grass move. Even though normally Hopip is pretty useless. I'm gonna guess this gym leader Hopip is a, yeah, it knows Giga Drain. Rip. We will remember your noble sacrifice, Gogeta. Let me screech at it. Let me just, uh, yeah. Man, a rock type move would be lovely. That could have decided this battle. Unfortunately, Gojira does not start with moves. It gets moves pretty fast. Let me send Jack in. I, I, want, I want to conserve my Houndour. I got a Screech off, so I need to... I want to hit, hit it hard. I could also... 
Nah, it's not. It, it's not worth building up amnesia. Look at that. Mmm, that Snorlax strength. Bellsprout is the final mod. Alright. Don't go easy on me. Okay. I wonder how that... Well, Sabrina might be okay, because Houndour is completely immune to psychic moves. Oh, it has to be a crit. Oh, it's so much damage! Oh, that did it! Okay, Sandstorm is gonna finish Bellsprout. Remarkably strong. That's right. I went to Mount Silver for this strength. I went to Mount Silver with no gym badges to get to get a Sandstorm user. And I get Giga Drain, which is, I assume, still a one-time use. You know what? I have, uh, I have Swift. Is there anything that can benefit from that? Because that's, uh, that's physical in this gen. What moves? I have Steel Wing as well, which that's not... I, could I teach Murkrow that? I don't have... Never mind, I don't have Murkrow yet. Swift. Gleam and Shadow. Alright, give Gleam another move. Ah, they are single use. I'll bet... I'll bet I could still clone in this. Hold on. Uh, I did save after I beat her, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. I'm gonna test something. I'll bet the cloning bug still exists in this. If this is so much- this- because this is a lot like vanilla crystal. If you encounter a wiggling tree, don't water it. Oh, Pewter City has squirt bottles. Cut your foes to pieces. Visit at this charcoal kiln. Alright, game corner prizes. Where is Cut in Gen 1? That's the, the ship. I want, can I only get it at... Uh, can I only get it at the Gen 2 location, I wonder? Uh, the duplic- the Pokemon duplication bug is still present in Crystal. They tried to remove it, but they just made- they made it a lot harder, but it's still present. So, let's see. Jack. You're gonna be my guinea pig. I'm gonna give you this Swift TM. I'm gonna save. What if arbitrary code execution still exists? Like I did in the Gen 2 playthrough. What if I could completely just screw up this game if I wanted to? I won't, because that takes a long time to do, but... Alright, I'm gonna deposit. I'm gonna change box. And then I think I can use the, the reset command. You sure that TM? Yes, I did use the TM and it went away. So they are still single use, unfortunately. Don't turn off the power. I think that's too late. I think you actually have to do it like almost immediately in Crystal.
Let me try that one more time. I, I want to clone. I want to make sure that I can, can or can't clone Jack. This is important. All right, I'm gonna save with him in the party. I'm gonna deposit. I'm gonna change box. And then it's pretty much r almost right after I. Uh, So that was before the deposit. It hadn't started saving yet. I'll try one more time. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's possible that this hack patches it out. It's also possible that I just did the timing wrong because it is kind of precise for a gen for crystal. I'm gonna guess that was too late. No, that was still too early. Alright, well... I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. I'm going to assume that they patched it out, because the timing of the saving is definitely different than it was in the vanilla game. And I'm still going to give Eevee Swelp. How much money do I have? I probably have enough that I can... I'm going to go buy Headbutt. That's what I'm going to do. Come on. I can buy Great Balls now. You have less than four badges, so the these are the TMs you can choose from. Uh, Headbutt, Rock Smash. Anything else I would want? There's Return. I could get that instead of Headbutt. Uh, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch. As cool as those sound, I don't think I want any of them because they're all special moves in this game. And the only thing that could maybe learn them are, like, I... I don't think even Tyranitar can learn them. Uh, not Tyranitar, Larvitar. I'll buy a Headbutt. And I'll buy a Rock Smash, just in case I need it later. Eevee, you're gonna learn Headbutt. Everyone can Headbutt. You know what? I just realized. <sighs> Give me another one. I'm, I'm thinking if I want to spend money on two headbutts, I'm sorry I'm being very indecisive. Yeah, I, I will, because it's it's seventy it's seventy power. It's it's also a, a good move for this point in the game. I'll just I'll I'll bite the butt bullet. I'll get two headbutts. Because Larvitar also badly needs a physical move and not just being limited to bite. All right, two headbutts and a rock smash. There goes all of my money again. Eevee's gonna headbutt. And Gogeta is gonna headbutt. And we'll get rid of Leer, because it's, for all our purposes, strictly worse than Screech. It can now scream and slam its head into things.
All right, who's in my party? Now that we have... We're a little meteor. Well, Shadow is meteor, anyway. Maybe now we can get a Murkrow. I would like to fill out my whole party on this stream, but that's going to be a meaty stream if we dare to try to go all the way to the ice cave. I don't know how easy that's going to be to get to in this version. I also don't have a, a catching Pokemon. Something with Paralysis would be nice, but uh, I don't know what I'd be able to do at this point in the game. Train up an Eevee, I guess. Not an Eevee, a, uh, P the, the Pikachu I caught. Also, I guess the accuracy mo uh, play wouldn't have worked anyway because it has Haze. It would just return its accuracy to normal. I actually don't want to burn it. Come on, three embers, no burn, no burn. <sighs> okay, that's a good amount of health to be at. Let's try it now. This is the this is the Murkrow. We're gonna catch this one. And it's gonna get the first ball. No, it won't. So in the original games, if I wanted to, uh, I did use basically the same team. But I would just have throwaway Pokemon for basically the entire main story of the game. Or I would only use my, uh, my starter and some, like, HM slaves. And then I would finally get to Kanto, and I would finally be able to start catching some of my party. Eevee I could use in Johto, because you get an Eevee in Johto. Okay, there we go. Finally got our Murkrow. The Darkness Pokemon. That makes it sound so much cooler than, like, it, it's later made to look. Weaving it up. Alright, Murkrow acquired. Oh, it's got, like, a cool, uh... It's got a cool new custom... I guess they all have custom icons now. This didn't exist in Gen 2. Every Pokémon did not have their own uh, field icon like this. So that's new. I should probably look at its stats. What, what, kind, of, what kind of Murkrow did I get? Uh... Decent attack and defense, but nothing else. Bad special. Which, it's not, like, it's not really a special attacker anyway, I don't think. That's, this one's, I guess, I guess it's a mixed attacker. Let's see if I can learn Steel Wing, because nothing else is going to use that TM. It can. Okay, there's another attack. I saw, I saw an uh, interesting video about how uh, Gen 4 has a ton of mixed attackers in it because that was the gen that they introduced the uh, physical special split. And I don't remember the detailed, like, theory or explanation as to why, you know, this led to that.
Maybe it was this Moxie boosted channel. Maybe it was the... What is the worst Pokemon from each generation? Actually, that's talking more about Gen 3 stat distribution philosophy, so... Maybe I'm just misremembering everything. Maybe I'm just wrong. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna try to take on Sabrina's gym. Sabrina and her friends. And that they updated this dude's dialogue to actually talk about the psychic type's weaknesses. As opposed to... I, I think in the original game, in Gen 1 and, and Gen 2, he just said something along the lines of, You know how to deal with this, right? Which is completely unhelpful. The power of all those you defeated comes to me. Everyone meet the sorrow. Okay, level 16 trainers. Shadow's gonna get a ton of experience from this gem. I'm just- I'm gonna spam Shadow for like this whole stream. And this gym might still be too much, because, like, Pursuit is his best dark move, and it's not great. I think it's like 40 power. It's also, like, its utility is not useful at all in single player because, uh... Trainer AI never swaps Pokémon, other than, like, the juggler class. Oh, come on. Give me more. Just a little more. Does, uh, hold on, Mr. Psychic, I think he still gives you the same thing in Gen 2. You got Psychic for me? Yes, you do. I don't know if I'm gonna have any Pokemon that will benefit from Psychic. It's a great move, but I don't have, I'm not gonna have any Psychic types on my team. I think my only special attacker is, uh, is Houndour. I don't know if any of these guys can learn it. Probably not. But let's find out, just to be safe. Uh, the Snorlax. Jack the Snorlax can become psychic. I'm gonna assume that Snorlax doesn't have an amazing special attack stat. Hmm, no. Could be useful just by virtue of having a Psychic user on the team, but, uh, I don't know. I'll hold off for now. But this is my genius strategy for going through Sabrina's gym, is to just go horizontally every time until I get to Sabrina. Statistically, it has to work eventually. Dark type. Being a special type, despite all being physical moves, and being almost exclusively on Pokemon with attack stat and not special attack stat, and also being like the main weakness of psychic type, which are generally psychic defense, psychic special defense. It would have been so swell for Dark to be a physical type. And it's just not. You would fix so much just by swapping the Dark and Ghost types. Because Ghost type, for some reason, is a physical type in, ge in the first three gens. Despite having special type 
like, moves, and be like Shadow Ball, and being ex almost exclusively on special attackers. Oh, it's like a little mini- he's got his own special substitute. Unless all substitutes look like that. Unless all of them are like little Mr. Mimes. I bet they're not, though. I bet that's his, like, uh, that's his, his menu sprite. Which, that's a cool change. If Substitute turns the Pokémon into its menu sprite. It can't do anything else. It only has, like, its only damaging move is Psychic-type, and it knows it can't hit me with it. save some of my Pursuit PP. Yeah? Psychic Jared. Oh good, something I can burn. Crystal was also the first Pokemon game to have animated sprites. None of Gen 1 did. And uh, Gen 2 Gold and Silver did not. That was kind of a trend of, uh, of Director's Cut versions for a while. Crystal, Emerald, and uh, Platinum all had animated sprites, whereas the, uh, the base games of each of those gens did not. Actually, I think that was also true in Gen 5. Maybe. I don't remember if Black and White 1 had animated sprites or not. I wonder what this is meant to imply. Because that's like... That's Execute's signature move, is Barrage. Is it implied that he's throwing his body at me, the other eggs? Is he spawning some form of projectile? Again? He was just now destroyed by Sabrina? I thought that was years ago. Doris. I like how these are supposed to be like uh, like Japanese mystics, but they all just have like American old lady names. Oh, this is a slowpoke. It probably has a water move. Uh oh. Thankfully, I'm faster than it. I wanted to, I wanted to, do, like, get one more fight in before I had to leave the gym, but, uh... Oh, she's got slow pokes. And I want, uh, I want Houndour to get all the experience. Because otherwise I don't think I'll be able to take on Sabrina. Oh, wait, did I heal? Yeah, I did, okay. It was just very fast. I do also want to fight all these trainers because I need the I need the training. The things I do just for a fly HM. Dig would be nice right now. I'm pretty sure you can dig out of gyms, especially this one. I would hope you're able to. I 
I think this will be a longer stream because I want to finish this. I want to get fly and I want to see if I can get to the ice path and catch a Sneasel. This will be a complete stream if I can fill out my dark party immediately. If I can do that in one stream, that th th this is truly open world because it took you so long to be able to do that in Gen 2. I am surprised by quite how open this is. I expected I would still have to, like, unlock stuff and be able to, uh, you know... I would have to open certain routes between places, but for the most part, it's you can just go anywhere immediately. Okay, so there's a lot of panels missing trainers in this version of the gym. We fought already, right? Alright, I think I have fought everyone here. Let me let me go heal and then I'll fight Sabrina. No, I don't have the path memorized. What a bummer that none of my team can learn Psychic. Well, other than Snorlax, but am I, am I really going to have a Psychic Snorlax? Maybe if this were- I wonder if I can learn Psychic in Gen 1. Because that could- well... I don't know anything about competitive Gen 1. It could be useful for single player, because Amnesia, with the single special stat, having a two-stage increase in your special attack plus Psychic sounds nice. Alright, third gym. We fought Blue. We fought Erica. Let's see if we can manage Sabrina even though we're probably still pretty underleveled. Espeon. Level 16, 18. And all I really have... Oh, you're gonna sand attack me. Of course it's gonna do that. It evolved from an Eevee. And it can't hit me with its psychic moves. Maybe this is okay. Maybe if it can't hit me with anything, then I can just I can keep pursuing it until eventually it works. It's not working. We're both flailing. Come on! I'm gonna get PP stalled with sand with sand attack. Uh okay. Alright, I'll play your game. Technically, I do have another dark type. And this one has haze. Nope, you cannot charm the crow. Ah, uh, okay, that's fine. Dark is a special type. I wonder if there's an obedience thing in this game. Like how Pokemon, uh, I think it only applies to wild-caught Pokemon, only listen to you up to the level of the, uh, the badges you have. That's probably in this. It's like a staple of Pokemon. Okay. Is this gonna be like the other Mr. Mime, where it can only substitute now? I think Barrier is just a, a straight defense increase as well. Like, it's not something that, uh, it's, it's not like, uh... Ah, what's the... the Reflect. 
it's not gonna it's not gonna remain for other Pokemon in the party. I already know what will happen. Yeah, she knows what's coming. Kinesis. I always forget what this move does. It's like an accuracy thing? Yeah. Why? Her thing is all accuracy. It's such a... It's such a... Dick strat. Get out of here with your accuracy changes. I'm glad that I caught Murkrow before this. Oh no, disabled haze. I dare say there, there, there's some strategy to this battle. See me this year at VGC. I wonder if there was any kind of post-game in this. Hmm. I could use a physical attack. I don't know how much that would do, and also I don't think Steel Wing is terribly accurate, so this is probably a bad idea. I'll stick with Pursuit. It's just doing the same thing the, the Espeon did! So glad I have Haze. I mean, I guess I can't blame it. it this is my fault because it, I'm immune to its only damaging moves. It only knows Psychic. All it can do is spam Kinesis and Prey. <sighs> it's tedious, but that it's what we've got to do. We just got to keep hazing and hoping. What is this move supposed to be? I get it's doing the trick where, it, like, it bends a spoon, but how does that lower my accuracy? Am I so bedazzled by the spoon trick? I should have known they were going to do that. Peck is 40, so it's going to be 60 with Stab. If Steel Wing is 70, it's still a little bit stronger. I think it's 70. Pokemon Steel Wing. Yep, 70 power. So it is stronger than Peck. And it also raises my defense sometimes, so that's nice. It is now disabled. I wonder how accurate Struggle is. It's not like a never miss move. Probably 100. Might be lower. All right, that was needlessly tedious, but uh, you sure put up a fight, Sabrina, who knew the outcome of this fight before it began. Your power, it far exceeds what I foresaw. How could I have predicted you would use the dark type and be completely immune to all of my attacks? Certainly not my fault for only using Psychic for my attacking moves. All right. Oh! Oh, I get two copies of Psychic. That I won't be able to use, but hey, that's nice. Come on. Gen 2 movement be like... We'll get there eventually. There's only two pads that don't go anywhere else.
math. Alright, now I can get fly. Which is also good because my Murkrow will have a move besides Peck. To help alleviate traffic on Cycling Road, we ask that skilled trainers use their Pokémon to fly. This also goes for boat traffic going to Sea and Wood City. That's a roundabout way to tell you where the uh, where the HMs are. Oh. Okay, so the Cinnabar Island map is like new. And hence it being called New Cinnabar Island, but in Gen 2 it was just like a volcanic wasteland. I think there was a Pokemon Center there, but that was it. But they had to at least re-add the, uh, the fossil thing, because there was no place to resurrect fossils in Gen 2. I wonder where Houndour is. I thought it was, like, here in that patch of grass, but we never ran into any. Alright, what am I doing? I'm getting fly. Our first HM attained as intended. There are faster ways to get to any destination. I see you got a few badges. Take this! It is kind of neat that you can get HMs in either their Gen 1 or Gen 2 locations, for the most part. That doesn't seem to apply to Cut, but then again, I didn't try to get on the uh, on the boat. Alright, we finally have Fly. Only took us two hours and 48 minutes. Now, if since this is updated, I'm assuming, yeah, we can fly to Johto too. And we don't even have to unlock locations. We can fly to any location immediately, which is perfect for us, because we can go right to the bottom floor of the ice path. Oh, this is great. Let me just heal up. Still got plenty of balls. I still have pretty low level Pokemon. But my priority is not grinding at the moment. What are you doing up there? How do you- how do you- huh? Okay, so this layout must be a little different if there's a way to get up on there. Swine up? There's a swine up hanging out, okay. I wonder if that's like the mascot swine up. I'm guessing, yeah, there must be a way to get up on that plateau somewhere. Let's go ahead and dodge that guy. I don't have Dig. I forget where you get Dig in the base game. Actually, I think... Was that being sold at the store? Could I have just bought Dig? Maybe I could have. Okay, so this is floor one. Basement one. I want to get that item, actually. Eh, protein. It's money. Basement one. I can technically encounter a Sneasel on any of the basement floors, but it's most common on basement three. So I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. Thankfully much easier to traverse the ice cave in reverse than forward. All right, basement three, 10% Smeagol rate at night, Smeagol. Yeah, I'm gonna catch Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. Let's see if we can find a Smeagol. No, I, we don't need a Deli Bird. I'm cool on that. Maybe later, but not now. You like that sound? You like that beautiful music? Alright, they're only 10%, so this shouldn't be too bad. Uh, there's a wild pile of swine? 
Okay. Do they encounter me? No, I have to talk to them. I can just, uh... That's a cool new feature. That you can just run into a wild... Certain encounter Pokemon just walking around. That del that del Delibird just healed me. Come on, give me a Sneasel. Give me a Sneasel. We're so close to a full team. We just need one more. Again, assuming vanilla rates. They've been true so far with everything else. Should be a 10% encounter rate at night. There it is! Uh, will Ember kill it? It's got terrible physical defense. I think its special defense is okay? Yeah, it's, de it's got fine special defense. We're good. Reversal might have killed it. Uh, headbutt would probably kill it, but let's try. I'm seven, nine levels below. Maybe headbutt will be okay. Sneasel is very fragile. Okay, not as fragile as I thought. Never mind. We're good. We're fine. Unfortunately, it's faster than me, so Headbutt's uh, flinch is not going to matter at all. Sneasel is one of the most unfortunately distributed stat Pokemon that I can think of. Maybe next to Pukamuku. Because... It's a dark ice type, both special types, not physical. But it's a physical attacker. And it has no defense. With a four times weakness to fighting. And also a one times weakness to rock, which is extremely common. It's not even really a glass cannon, it's a glass pistol. But it's dark type, and I don't have anything else to pick from, so I gotta get me a Sneasel. God. Scratching a rock type with that attack power, though. I wonder how much the movesets were updated. Oh. Come on! Be a pal, stay in the ball. Uh, Karasu. You, you can take a hit a little bit briefly, right? Level Ball is not going to be useful here. Okay, you can take a little bit of a hit. It can take a few of those. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball, Sneasel. Three. Come on, give me, give me, stay in there. Give me a fourth one. Probably goes without saying that this was before the advent of crit catches, so no chance we're getting one of those. Gen 1 was especially weird because uh, if a Pokemon was... It's still at a point that you were just not going to catch it the ball would just completely miss the Pokemon. Gen 1 had some very weird ball calculations. Hashtag weird ball math. Where, uh, especially for legendaries, you would just miss a Pokemon until when you finally hit it with a ball, it would usually capture it. Weird, weird ball mechanics. It'd be real swell if I could get this Sneasel. Okay! 
Can't wait for it to have awful IVs. That was such a nice feature of uh, Pokey Rogue. That your, your Pokemon would always have, like, the best IVs of all the Pokemon of that species that you've caught. Weaving it up. All right, we have a full team. Other than Gleam is not evolved. What's its happy? What's what's Gleam's happiness like? How you feeling, buddy? Happiness eighty-eight. That's not great. I think that needs like a Pokemon. I think it's called friendship. Technically. And I think it needs, like, it needs to be max. It needs to be, like, 255 in order to, uh, in order to evolve. There are Pokemon that evolve by friendship. Yeah, yes, there are. When they have at least 220. Okay, well, I was optimistic, but that's not going to happen this stream. Unfortunately, I would have been willing to do some uh, some sped up walking to get there, but that's a little too much sped up walking. We did not gain as much happiness from beating the gym leaders as I would have hoped. So let me just uh, let me get out of this cave. Let's do that. Unfortunately, many of our mons are dead. In fact, I'm gonna put Yuki in the front. Because she's fast, and she'll be able to escape wild Pokemon here. What are Eevees? Awful special... Awful attack! Oh. That's especially a... That's an especially not good Sneasel. But she is my Sneasel, so I love her anyway. Yep, Zubat. Love me a Zubat. Y'all like slide puzzles? Oh, uh... Isn't there... There's the, the HM in this cave. I don't think... This isn't the spot, though. I don't think this is where the HM is. HM is. But let's check. It's a waterfall. I think it's earlier in the cave. In the vanilla game. It might have been moved. I don't know. I wonder if they added a Kanto location to the uh, HM06 and HM07. Actually, I might be thinking of HM06. I'm, it might be uh, Whirlpool is in this cave. I also don't remember there being a rock smash rocks in the original version of the cave. So I'm wondering what the encounters are under those. Alright, go ahead and save. And we got a pretty full party. We got all six of the Pokemon that I set out to get in this stream. So that is how free roamable Pokemon Crystal Clear is. I'll, pr I'll probably come back to this. I'd be—I don't think this will take too too long. Now that we have a full team, all we got to do is like you know, play the game, raise them up, keep fighting, uh, keep fighting dreams, dreams, gym leaders, and their dreams. We have to crush their dreams. But uh, I'm going to stop for stop for now. Full team of six Pokemon. Good first stream. And I'll come back, come back to this at some point in the future to uh, do more of the game. Hopefully do all 16 gyms and fight the Elite Four is the, is the plan. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.